Well, we're nearing the end of our new user primer for the events calendar 3.0, but before I go, I wanted to walk you through the additional fields functionality that comes bundled with the Pro release. As noted, this is a Pro exclusive feature, so if you're not going to be installing Pro, you're probably not going to want to pay attention to this. You won't even see the tab that I'm about to visit if you don't have Pro installed, but if you do, you'll come into Events and into Settings, and in Settings, you'll go into Additional Fields. And additional fields allows you to add additional hard-coded data that appears alongside the date and time and venue and organizer of your event and is separate from the description. Chances are people aren't going to always read your description, particularly if it's long, but if you have this information hard-coded, there's a much better chance of it being seen. What I've done here is I've put myself in the shoes of a nightclub owner. I know that every event that we host has a DJ, it has a caterer, and it has a theme. The DJ is always going to be random, so I want people who are setting up events to be able to simply type in his name in a text field. Catering, though, is going to be a bit more refined. We know it's always going to be one of these four caterers that we've got here. So I'm going to select Radio Button, so that whoever goes to create an event will have to select one of these four catering options from a Radio Button, or they can go with the None Radio Button option. The theme is similar, but I'm going to go with a checkbox, and the reason I'm doing checkbox here is because sometimes we have a hybrid of two separate themes. Radio Button only allows me to select one. Theme allows me to select multiple. So let's say that I have a theme that is, say, Pizza and Nuns. Well, that would allow me to check both, and I'd be all set. I'm satisfied with all of these, and even though there are additional field options, namely URL, which when published is automatically a hotlinked URL, and dropdown, which just allows people to select one thing from a dropdown, you're pretty much satisfied, and we're good here, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. We're going to go create an event in a moment, but it's important to note before we do that any time people are creating events on the site when these are in place, they're going to have access to these. You can't target this to specific users or to specific events, so if these are in place, people are going to be using them. If you want to remove them, come in here and hit this remove option and it'll be struck from the record immediately. Similarly, if you want to come in and change the options at any time, you can. Come in here, just create a new line, drop in what you need to, make sure to save your changes, that'll be reflected immediately. The only other thing I need to decide here is whether I want the custom fields meta box to appear on the event admin. It's going to appear by default, it's part of WordPress. You can hide it here though if you think there's going to be confusion for your users. I'm not going to worry about that, I'm just going to save my changes, and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to hit add new. We're going to create a new event here. I'm not going to worry too much about what I plug in. I'm just going to leave all this information randomized. But when we get down into this section beneath the event website, you'll see this information that we just configured is present. The additional fields are here and I can plug them in. The DJ tonight, as expected, could be anybody. It's actually going to be me. Catering, we do have the option to go with nobody, but I'm going to know that Taco Bell's in town tonight, so they're going to be catering. And the theme, well, we said we're going to have that interesting hybrid of pizza and nuns. So I hope there's some interesting costumes. I'm going to select both of those, and I'm going to go ahead and publish this event. We're going to view it on the front end. And as you can see, we have that information in place. The DJ tonight is present, showing the name. The caterer tonight is present, showing the Taco Bell. And the themes tonight is showing the collection that we wanted it to. This is prominently displayed, and it's really showing up in a way that other information might not. Somebody is bound to look at the details of the organizer, and they're going to see this other over here. It's going to be called out to them, and if you had a big description, again, they probably wouldn't see that. Hope that helps. Hope that walks through this functionality well enough for you. And I really appreciate you watching this new user primer. If you have additional questions, please do let us know.